Hello, everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome back to the shop. No more sewing, baby. <laughs> okay. I got my tail cut off. And bam, look what I have made. There's a little trigger. Put servo on the top. Just a little one. Okay, remember that tube I found for that bottle? I decided not to use the plastic. What I did is I waxed that bottle up, wrapped me some glass around it last night, put some peel ply on it, let it set up. Bam, came right out this morning. Okay. So then, I'm going to show you guys how I did this. Now, I got this attached by screws right here and right here and right here and right here. And, because uh, it's got to be able to come out if you know, that servo ever goes bad because it's going to be on the top. It's got to be able to come in and out. Okay, and one thing I hate, this is a pet peeve of mine. When you go to screw something in and you tighten it up and the fiberglass sinks down because you couldn't get it exact because it's pretty rough in there. There's some seam tape running right here and right here and it's, it's not real smooth in there. So you can't just put a piece of wood there without that fiberglass sucking down. Okay, so this is what I did to prevent that. Okay, I took me a piece of plastic, okay, and I put it right there, okay, and I did half of it at a time. Now, this was my first attempt that I had to move the hole down, so it's just scrap, and I'm going to use it to show you what I did. Okay, and I put this in there where I wanted it. I pretty much, you know, get, got the, the contour how I wanted it. It was pretty close. Okay, got that like that. And I took this piece of wood, it was cut down a little more. And I just coated it with epoxy. Coated it, it was, it's a lot smaller, it's about half that size. Coated it with epoxy there and there. Put it on top of that plastic. Pushed it down. Let it sit up. Okay. I actually had one of them little clamps. And what that extra epoxy on the bottom does is it uh, forms to the contour of that resin. I just clipped up here. Alright. Well, you know what I was talking about. Then I, you know, I put the, this block of wood went right there, and what it did was it formed perfectly to that resin down there. Okay, then I flipped it over, pulled it out, moved the plastic over there, did the same thing. Okay, so it's a perfect fit. You see them kind of ripples right there? Just, just, you can tighten them screws up. And it don't uh, uh, contour the fiberglass. Okay, now they angle like that so it won't go in from the back. So, what I got to do, I used me a nice heavy duty brass hinge right there. It's going to stick out a little bit on the bottom, but guys, it's worth it to have a good hinge. It ain't gonna wobble, ain't gonna break, because this shoot comes out in flight. Bad things can happen. Uh, of course, we got it, you know, put it on with a little bit of fishing string up here and uh, there's swivels. So, you know, it, uh, it's supposed to break off if it ever comes out in flight, but we don't want that to happen. So, I uh, put a big old brass hinge right there. It's, plus, it's got to come off to get it in. That door's got to come off. And 
Another thing I did was uh, put this piece of wood on top of that one, drill me some alignment pins. Okay, that's going to keep that from wiggling, so that can't in any way wiggle off my hook. See my hook? That's just a piece of phenolic I made. Put a screw up from the bottom and uh, holds it nicely. And the alignment pins kind of trenched out that wood right there for that hinge to fit inside. And uh, I'll paint that hinge up. It won't look bad. Okay, now, this just barely goes in there. I'm going to have to uh, take the elevator off when I go to put the servo in because I know with all that it ain't going to go unless that elevator's out of there. Bam! That just fits freaking perfect, man. Just freaking perfect. Nice big hole for that chute. Okay. Man, that medication I'm on sure drives my mouth out. Man, I gotta get, I gotta fill up my water jug. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Sometimes I wake up in the middle of the night and my tongue is stuck to the roof of my mouth. Ah, all right. Now, what I got to do is make this pop out. Well, guys, you ain't going to believe how lucky I was. Okay, I made that thing. Now, I was kind of looking for something to make a plunger out of. And uh, just kind of looking around the shop and I found an old... Uh, um, Cocking tube. Check that out, man. Just perfect fit. So I cut about three quarters of an inch of it off and I put me a piece of wood on the top. I had to put a couple layers of tape on it to just to make it that that perfect fit. I mean it's just perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely perfect. Cause you want it pretty close because you don't want it you don't want to turn it sideways and kind of kink it okay now we got to have something to move this plunger there's two ways to do it air cylinder uh, that's the way Skymaster does theirs or details from scales and you know I've never done it with an air cylinder but that elevator mechanism is straight in the way I was going to do it but also when I did all my extension cords on that airplane I figured I was going to put a chute in it someday so I ran another extension cord it's already got an extension cord back there so I won't have to do no major work getting an extension cord back there so that's just going to be the easiest I don't know servo it worked flawlessly on my other F4 Okay, now, uh, bam, ejection spring, okay, now you got to have a hole in the bottom back there for uh, your chute string, that's what holds your chute, Stick that bad boy right there. Bam. Okay. That cool off for a minute. Now we don't want to go losing this every time it goes off, so we're going to put 
so much. Um, I'll move right here too. Bam. Plus, we need a way for the air to escape, you know. Right. Okay, now we're going to take the chute. Take the chute, man. Take the chute. Okay. I'm going to pack that bad boy right in there like so. Cocked and loaded. It fizzles out. <laughs> no. I didn't have that sheet packed very good. There. Seven six five four three two one. Bam. And that's pointing up without the G's behind it. You know, it'll work. I just need to. I can pack it just a little bit shorter. That's a big old hole, and it don't take up a whole lot of the space. Okay, straight and level. Beautiful. I'm going to need to make that hole bigger so more air gets out a little faster. Talcum powder in there. Yeah. 
I will just put, I don't, I don't, I don't want to make that one oversized for the spring, but I can put a couple more holes around the edges. Out, Sammy, you're gonna get a shoot on your head. Seven six five four three two one. Oh yeah, much better. Much better. See, I'm just gonna take this little servo right here and I'll mount it upside down or just like that on its side. And uh little rod, I'll cut that arm off. Don't need to be a little short one. And uh, move that. So all we gotta do is move that that far. Bam. Done deal. Done deal. Have that bad boy installed tonight. Working. Be done. Alright guys, that's all I got for you. I'll be back with more from the shop.